Hello, my friends, and welcome back. <sighs> Today, we're going to be examining the age-old question. Fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? And the series continues! Um, honestly, I have to say, show everyone that I have a forgoody because I have a butt in the front, but I also have a forgoody in the back. And they hate it. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't hating it until you started doing this part. Ooh. Okay, then I liked it again because that was funny. Alright, at first I didn't hate it, and then you started doing that weird little butt tuck thing, and then I hated it. And then you had that funny look on your face, and then I thought it was funny again. So, uh, we're back to where we started, which was I don't hate it. Um... It's delusional that they think the people would hate them for that. Why would anybody care? That's going to be a running theme with these videos. Uh, my, my perspective is often going to be, why would anybody care enough to be mad at you for any of these things? Hey, fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? I don't actively try to lose weight, and I have a healthy and fulfilling... You don't actively try to lose weight? Oh, oh, oh man, nothing pisses me off more. Yo, this chick is out there doing what she wants with her own body. Man, I am so upset. I am very angry about this. Personally upset. I'm personally offended. Relationship with a total hottie. People have... Do you have a relationship with a total hottie? That's another common theme that we're going to see a couple times in these videos. Uh, fat people being like, Oh, uh, thin people are mad that I'm with someone who is hot. Yeah, are they? Does anybody care? Is any of this true? I doubt that any of these stories really happen, but let's continue. Somebody told your partner that you're not attractive enough. Oh yeah, you're with like the, somebody that's just so attractive that people just have to tell them stuff like that. For him. You're not attractive enough for him. So, your partner is just so unbelievably hot. The people just have to tell them about it constantly. That's crazy. That's weird. Sounds like projection. Sounds like projection. So they don't think that they're hot enough to be with your partner? I, I guess. <laughs> okay. I think the real problem is whoever's coming up to you saying that you're not hot enough for your partner is clearly um, just jealous of your eyebrows. Time for the next clip. We're going to try to breeze through these pretty quickly. You can hear my baby in the background. Sorry about that. You're going to hear a washing machine and a baby in the background. Sorry about that. It's the evening time. Fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? <laughs> Where do I begin? My list is pretty long, but let me show you something real quick. Found them. Being fat people in real life must really piss them off, but seeing them in art and media, ooh, that really gets them. Seeing fat people in real life really pisses them off. But seeing fat people in art and media really gets them. So, um, why? Why would, um, thin people be mad that there are fat people out there in the world? Furthermore, why would they be mad that, um, there's art depicting fat people? I don't think any thin people are being forced to buy this art or worship at the altar of fat art or whatever. So, I don't think that they care. Um, it's pretty bizarre. You're gonna like, like I said, like my main theme through this whole video is gonna be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> like, why would anybody care that you're fat, dog? Nobody cares, homie. Be as fat as you want, dude. Like, people sometimes will like hit you with some honesty that you maybe don't like. They'll be like, yo, uh, what you're doing is unhealthy, and I don't think that it's attractive. Uh, people don't need to tell you that. Uh, that's mean when they do. But um, beyond that, dude. Yeah, nobody needs to bully you based on your weight, but other than that, uh, nobody gives a damn if people are fat. Why, why would they? That's like if I gave a crap about people being like heroin addicts or something. I don't, dude. I don't. Go do all the heroin you want, homie. It's all yours, dog. <laughs> it's all you, man. Especially when it's a fat girl who's drawing them. Oh, yeah, that really does get my goat. I wasn't mad about like the fat art and then the fat people living their lives or whatever. But then when I realized that a fat girl was making fat art, the combination of those two things together really sent me over the edge of um, fat phobia, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, the combination of a fat person making fat art 
really like sent me over the um, the edge. I have so many like uh, what do you call it like in here um, emotions or whatever uh, like um, when it's like here like uh, feelings dog uh, I don't know um, some some shit it burns it does burn. Because I'm supposed to hate myself, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, please go back to hating yourself. It's making me really mad when you're not. Um, I draw uh, energy and power from other people's misery. I'm like some kind of weird golem creature. And uh, yeah, you being miserable is what's fueling me. Please be miserable. You living your best life is really, uh, it's really irking me. Um, this is Boulder Dash. This is Poppycock. This is shenanigans. This is Travis Shop where we make lots of things that just radiate body positivity. Especially plus size bodies living their lives unapologetically. And that really pisses people off. You can get me started on our newest collection which is all about plus size bodies and fat acceptance. Our fellow fat shirt must really ruffle some feathers. <laughs> can you imagine people's eyes just bulging out of their sockets because of this local fatty tote bag? People's eyes bulging out of their sockets because of this local fatty tote bag? All right, I see what's going on here. You're selling products. Damn it, can we get anywhere in any videos without people trying to sell stuff and trying to embrace fake emotions to sell their product? You're trying to embrace this like, yes, go queen ideology like for fat girls so you can sell your little bag. Yeah, I'm sure their eyes will bulge out of their head when they see this super basic ass canvas bag with some basic ass art on there. What is that, like a three color screen print? Dude, stop. And to be honest, that brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> Did a fat girl just make fat positive art and then she also was selling a bag that said the local fatty... God damn it! Ugh. Damn it! I can't believe she's doing this, dude. I, dude, I can't freaking believe it. Can you believe this? This is freaking ridiculous, dude. I can't even believe it. I'm so angry. I got so many, like, what do you call it in here? Like, uh, emotions or whatever, dog? I don't even know. But, like, yeah, dude, I'm so angry. I got all kinds of feelings and shit. Damn. Mm. Dude, I swear to God, if I see another overweight person living their best life, I don't know if I could, uh, I don't know if I can stand it anymore. I'm so personally angry. Hey, fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? Okay, what do we got here? Okay, he's kissing that girl and then this... Okay, um... Alright, so having sex with your cousins? What does this have to do with being fat? Alright, bro, what does banging your cousins have to do with being fat? I don't know, he's not even answered the question. What, what's going on here? What is something that you do that you're pretty sure pisses off thin people? Then he proceeds to have intercourse with both of his cousins. I don't understand how one is related to the other, but uh, you win. You win, I guess. Um, <laughs> I got nothing to say to that, dude. You shut my stupid ass up. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'd say that it pisses me off when I see a man keeping it within the family, if you know what I mean, but I'm more concerned. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, this look on my face, is a, this is a concern look. I don't know, I, I, or I, it could be that I look like I have to poop. Um, either way, is that concern? Is this good for the thumbnail? What? <laughs> you know, sometimes um, when you make a YouTube video, you'll be like, all right, let's make the thumbnail, and then you'll go, and then you go, and make all these stupid faces, and then edit it out. Next video. You fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? Aside from the obvious existing while fat without hating myself. <laughs> yeah, that obviously angers us all. That really pisses people off for some reason. Yes, it absolutely does. How dare you not hate yourself and exist in a time and place that I don't even know exist personally. How dare you? <laughs> I'm one of those people that spends the majority of my life just walking around half naked in lingerie. I'm not wearing clothes unless I absolutely have to, you know what I mean? Uh, you look like you're wearing a full friggin' furry bodysuit right now. What are you talking about? 
I'm always like lounging around in as little clothing as possible. You know, I get hot, man. I'm always wearing bikinis and all this and that, you know. Um, it's just how it is. And, you know, people get mad by that. A lot of people aren't used to seeing this much skin, you know. They're like, yo, why don't you cover up and wear like a beanie and like a blanket all the way around your body like a robe. Like, they just don't get it, dog. By the way, I'm sorry for the washing machine sounds in the background, dude. There's nothing that can be done for that. And so I get a lot of comments that are like, how are you so confident? Oh my God, you are so confident. And I know they mean it as like a compliment, I think, but it's- Are you sure? Are you sure that uh, these people exist? Are you sure this conversation is taking place outside of your own head at all? You sure? Um, sometimes we have pretty in-depth conversations that have a back and forth element to them, all within our own minds. And it seems like we really had a conversation with another person, but um, it was actually just a bunch of stuff that we imagined. Just like, why wouldn't I be confident? So I started playing dumb and asking them that, going, wait. So you started playing dumb. That reminds me of an insult that I like to use on people. I like to go, hey, stop playing dumb. Or are you not playing? Oh, burn, son. Why does that make me confident? Everyone else is, everyone else is wearing the same kind of thing. Every, everyone else, why, why? Right, this story never happened, madam. Um, and if it did happen, I mean, come on now. If somebody's like, yo, why are you so confident? They're saying, from their perspective, you have no reason to be confident. Which, you know, would be a horrible thing to say if somebody ever said that to you. I'm guessing they didn't. That would be pretty weird. But if somebody did go out of their way to say that type of thing to somebody, that would just speak volumes about the person that said it. If I went up to some random dude and I'm like, yo, look how bald you are, bro. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> why would I do that? That would mean that I am such an insecure wreck myself if I were to do that. Um... So yeah, you have to you have to see pe past people's stupid little facades. Why am why am I confident? I'm right. If that really happened, which I'm guessing it didn't, um, clearly that person has no confidence. If they're you know tripping out about your ability to be confident, they kind of shit themselves because they're like, oh shit, oh, got to admit this was fat phobia. Oh. oh my goodness, nobody's phobic of you, dude. Oops. Um, but yeah, play. All right, time for the next clip. And like I said, sorry about the washing machine in the background. It's gonna be there throughout the video. What's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? I mean, besides breathing. They all seem to think that thin people are mad at them for breathing. That's really bizarre. Um, you'd have to have like some sort of narcissistic personality disorder to think that the world revolves around you to such an extent. I would have to say dating someone who society deems is like, that looks better than you. Oh, another one of these. All right, so we got ourselves another one where they're like, oh, uh, society says that my boyfriend, husband, whatever, is too hot for me. I'm fat and he's not. And people trip out about that. They're like, what? You, but you're with, but, but you with, but what, huh? And then their head just explodes. I know, dude. People are weird. It's a weird society we live in. When I see stuff that seems a little bit strange to me, I often go up and confront the people involved. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, I saw people who, uh, they looked a little too, little too big of an age gap between this person and this one. Of course I had to go up there and confront them. Sir, is that your granddaughter? And then he was like, yes. And I'm like, okay. And then I left. I mean, it's, that's just why we don't go around confronting people. So for example, I am a fat black woman and my fiance is a conventionally attractive, active athlete, just handsome bearded man. A bearded man. Okay. So you're a fat black woman and he's an athletic bearded man. Okay, gotcha. I'm keeping I'm keeping score here. I'm I'm taking notes here. So when we're seen in public together, first of all, we get li weird looks from guys who are like, you know, you could do so much better. Like that type of mindset. You get looks from guys that say that. Ah, the old look that tells you all those words that she just said. That's pretty bizarre. You get looks from guys that say Oh, bro, you can do so much better than that. Man, you can really uh, read a lot into a look, huh? You get a lot of information out of a look. I don't, I don't get that much specific information out of somebody's glance in my general direction. That's pretty crazy, man. 
you must have like the sixth sense. And then you get weird looks from thin women who are like, why me? If she can find love, then I, then why am I single? Um, once again, you got all that from a look. That's crazy. You're projecting like crazy. You see somebody look at you and you automatically assume that they're thinking, why does she have a man? Why can't I have a man? Why am I alone? Like what? Dude, that's what you want people to be thinking when they look at you? You seem a little uh, insane. You want people to be looking at you with admiration and wish that they had your husband or boyfriend or whatever. That's really weird, man. You should, you should get a therapist. And the same thing goes for fat men. If you're a fat man and you're dating a pretty girl, they're gonna be like, oh, you must have a lot of money or something. But if you're fat and you're dating a conventionally attractive partner. All right, once again, I don't think anybody gives a crap who's dating who or uh, who's overweight or not. Next clip. Hey, fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? Knowing and acknowledging the fact that I'm pretty. It's totally okay for a skinny girl to be like astronomically conceited, but the second that a plus size girl calls herself a 10, it's a problem. Um, I disagree. I think it's a problem anytime a girl is conceited. I think it's annoying. Um, if you were thin and attractive or overweight, and attractive, unattractive, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you go around acting conceited, uh, that's annoying. Whether you're conventionally attractive or thin or fat or whatever, uh, that automatically puts a bad taste in everybody's mouth. So, yeah, when you're all like, I'm a 10. Hey, everybody. I'm a 10. Go fuck yourself. I'm a 10. F hey, you. <laughs> fuck you. I'm a 10. Like, <laughs> I know that you didn't add the fuck you part in there. I added that in for fun myself because that's how I say it. If I'd be like, hey, you. Fuck you. I'm attractive. You fuck. That's how I would do it, but uh. If you're a plus size girl who knows and acknowledges the fact that she's pretty, it's skinny people that try to humble you real quick. Anybody will try to humble you real quick if you go around telling everybody, hey guys, I'm a 10. <laughs> you know how I know? Cause I said it myself, huh? Uh, yeah, that, that's a good one, dude. All right, now we're gonna take a look at one more bonus clip. In this bonus clip, Fat Fab Feminist is going to talk about YouTube reaction channels making content out of her videos. And uh, I think at some point here she's going to talk about me, which is hilarious. Let's go. Every few weeks someone makes a fat phobic video about me on YouTube where they take my content and react to it out of context and like comment on it. And it's really frustrating because it's always for those like fat phobic millennials that are like on YouTube still. On YouTube still. Yeah, just just us old people are on YouTube. That's true. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Content that I make on here is specifically for my audience on here. It's for fat people, brown people, queer people, Gen Z. It's for brown people? Oh man. People who are on TikTok will get it and like get the vibe. Because I will be making a video that is like clearly a joke or like clearly like a bit made for TikTok, and they will take it like completely seriously and miss the joke. And it's like not even worth commenting on because it's like it's it went over your head. Like so the video I made where I was showing them um, wearing the revealing clothes in public or whatever, I guess it was some kind of joke. Maybe it was a reference to that Seinfeld episode where that chick was wearing a bra as a top. Maybe. Is that the joke? If so, then I, I get that. I like Seinfeld. But I, <laughs> either way, I don't know if it's a joke or what. I don't know. Maybe it is a joke. She's like, if you want to get attention, here's what you do. And it's just wearing a bra. I mean, maybe it was a joke. Either way, who cares? Even if it was a joke, my content is still valid. You, you're not the target audience. You. Yes, I am the target audience. I watched it. Missed the joke. You didn't get it. What was the joke? Explain it to me. And it's like, a lot of the time they're commenting on either my weight or like how I dress. I didn't comment on your weight, but I did comment on how you were dressed because you were wearing like a bra outside in broad daylight walking down the middle of the street. It was insane. And like, why are you a middle-aged man like going gray? Oh my gosh. Why am I a middle-aged man going gray? I don't know. I was born a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny that they talk about things being fat phobic, but then you're ageist. How dare you? How dare you bring up my extremely advanced age? I know I'm old, but it doesn't matter though, because there's nothing I could do about that. Unlike somebody's weight. Oh! No, I'm just kidding, man. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I know I'm old. Who cares? Commenting on me, a 21 year old, and how I dress. You're 21? So if I look this messed up when I'm old, and I'm not obese. 
Uh, how are you gonna look when you're old? It's just annoying getting this hate from randos who don't know me because like obviously you're not gonna like the video. It's not for you. I never said I disliked the video. I thought it was great. You don't get it. I did get it. I thought it was amazing. What are you? Why are you so mad? Why are you getting mad and calling me old? Why are we trying to hurt each other? I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Don't copyright strike me for that. I know it was so close to the original that the, it'll probably set off the copyright censors. But um, either way, I don't care. Yeah, I'm old, so what? Who cares? Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, when you upload stuff onto the internet, people are gonna make content out of it, especially if what you said was amusing, especially if it's amusing to me. I'm gonna make a video about it, uh, I'm gonna laugh about it, we're gonna have a good old time, I'm gonna bring my audience along for the ride with me. Uh, so, I mean, you can deal with it. If I can bounce the age jokes off of my chest, then you can bounce uh, my videos about your outfit off your chest or whatever. So today we've mostly learned what fat people do that really pisses off thin people. Um, the answer to that question is nothing. Uh, we don't really care. Um, I I'm not sitting around caring what other people are doing. I'm just living my own life, doing my own thing. And I don't think anybody else gives a crap either, to answer your question. Um, nothing. There's nothing that fat people do that piss me or most sane people off. If people are critiquing you and being buttholes, they probably got their own problems. In fact, I can guarantee it. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.